and Eddie going somewhere? Nah, he just wants me to help him with his chemistry. Oh, I didn't know you were that good in chemistry. You don't have to be very good to help Eddie. You're too old to start balling, and you're too young to run away and join the Navy. What am I old enough to do? Well, I think you're right about it at the age where you're just gonna have to stick around and take it. He wasn't thinking about himself so much. He, he just didn't like the idea of disappointing you. Me and Mary made this deal. Neither one of us is gonna walk home with anybody else. You know something, Beef? I gotta stop looking at you like a little kid. You're an operator. <laughs> is your girlfriend late? Well, yeah, except, uh, except he's not a girl. He's Eddie Haskell. It's about girls. I see. Yeah, Dad. I'm in a triangle. I want to set up the sleeping bag. I want to set up the sleeping bag. I want to get the water. No, I want to get the water. I want to help Wally. No, I want to help Wally. He's my brother. Look, you guys, if you don't stop being so helpful, I'm going to clobber you. Now, don't you think that three boys Beaver's age can just sit around doing nothing for a while? No, Mom, I don't. You look like something's bothering you. Oh? Well, um, Mr. Thomas, our homeroom teacher, said that uh, that's just part of being a teenager. Were they as good as I said they'd be? Huh? The books. Oh, yeah, yeah, they were, uh, they were beautiful. <laughs> Do you dine here a lot, Wally? Oh, well, uh, I wouldn't say a lot. You know how it is. What's Dad got up his sleeve? Up his sleeve? Well, yeah, he wouldn't let the beaver get away with anything like this unless he was going to get it in the end. Wally, when you drive, just remember to concentrate. Well, that's how I do it. And you can see I don't have any trouble at all. <laughs> Gee whiz, Shirley, you, you act like you were ready for the Indianapolis or something. <laughs> Women. Wow. <laughs> oh, sorry, Mama. I didn't mean big women. I just meant little women like, uh, like Susan. Would you tell your father for me that I'm a big, stupid dope? <laughs> Don't worry about it, Eddie. I think he's kind of suspected it for years. <laughs> you have a persecution complex. I do not. Just everybody's all the time picking on me. Do you think we're being fair with Beaver? It's been a long time since I was a kid, but looking back, I guess most of the time you were fair with me. About a half an hour ago, I'm sitting in my room watching Captain Kangaroo, and my pop walks in and lowers the boom on me. Well, maybe your pop doesn't want you watching Captain Kangaroo. Dad'll never know the difference. Hell no. Well, how will he know? Because I'm gonna tell him. There's something different about me. I was just wondering if you guys noticed it. <laughs> Wally, I'm sure someone should, but I think that's my job. But gee, Dad, you've been lecturing the beaver for 13 years now, and he's still pretty stupid. <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to fill three pages with that kind of junk. Oh, beaver, why don't you just take your life and triple space it? Ward, don't you think you ought to? Jane. Good morning, all. <laughs> how do you know so much about buying a car? Well, Wally, you know, they did have cars when I was a boy. Used cars? <laughs> it might not be his fault. Maybe it's, uh, maybe it's got something to do with his genes. What? Well, you know, like, uh, like maybe, uh, he had an ancestor who wasn't so bright, or... <laughs> He's, uh, waiting in the room, Dad. I'll talk to him. You brush up on your biology. <laughs> yes, sir. Ask him. All right, all right, I will. But I'll ask him sometime when you're not around. Well, how come? Because you're the kind of guy that could kill the deal just by being in the house. You gonna cross-examine him at dinner, Dad? No, I don't think so. That's good, because you might find out a whole lot of stuff you wouldn't want to know about. Well, Wally, I'm glad to see you take such an interest in your brother. Well, sure. And if he faints or something, I wouldn't want to miss it. How many, please? Um, my name's, um... I mean, um, would you, uh... Um, that is, um, one. Both your mother and I are aware of his attitude, and, uh, we're handling it in our own way. Gee, Dad, you mean you know what's going on? <laughs> I've got to decide what courses to take, what sports to go out for, what, uh, dorm to live in, and what fraternity to join. 
I never knew that so much thinking went along with going to college. Well, I, I think your mother sort of thought you might be uh, kind of moving in on Eddie's girl. You know, it's kind of hard to figure your own mother thinking of you as an operator. <laughs> Gosh, Julie, uh, what's the matter with you? What's the matter with me? What's the matter with you, Casanova? <laughs> Maybe we could uh, draw straws or cut cards or something like that. Sounds fair enough. Well, yeah, yeah, but I just, uh, I just thought of something. If that sounds so fair, uh, I might lose. <laughs> Beaver's all shook up about something. This afternoon, I saw him walking home from school, and I offered him a ride. He told me to... To what? Well, he, uh, he, he said he'd rather walk. I tried psychology on him, and I thought I had him convinced. But at the last minute, he double-crossed me and went to the game. Well, you know, those psychologists are sure stealing the money. Melinda just called me a cotton-picking little creep. Well, at least she's still talking to you. I really thought you wanted Eddie to go. That I wanted to get rid of him? Wally, does Eddie think I want to get rid of him? Oh, well, um, well, no, sir. Uh, well, that is, uh, not very often, sir. Well, if you started this, it's not fair for them to do all the work. Now, go up and put on your old clothes and help them. Uh, Mr. Rutherford, could you do us a favor? What's that? Well, um, Eddie and I are getting along pretty well here, and, uh, Please don't make Clarence help us. Oh, I see your point. I trusted you because you wore a shirt and a tie. Kathy, you go to bed right now. But Daddy doesn't know what's happening. Kathy, get to bed. And you, young man, you get out. But, sir, if you're just out, 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 out you delinquents. <laughs> your father wants to send Beaver on a trip around the country this summer. Oh, fooling? Hey, I'll chip in for that. Well, she's uh, sort of an operator. Ward, we can't let a girl like this get her clutches on Beaver. Well, now, dear, I hardly think a little girl in the eighth grade is a junior Cleopatra. I don't want to tell you how to run your family or anything, but if I were you, I'd make sure Beaver gets on that bus. You know something, Dad? I don't think I'll ever be a cool guy. Well, son, some of us never make it. Good night. <laughs>